Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the Tower of London in London. Now the Tower of London is a large fortress complex situated on the Thames in the centre of London. And it's been a fortress for a thousand years. The first part, the White Tower just behind me, was started by William the Conqueror just after the Norman invasion in 1066. Now, it served variously as a prison, a torture chamber, a royal palace, a mint, a treasury, and a barracks. And it's just such a fascinating place. There's so much history here. So let's go and explore. Now, one of the coolest things here at the Tower of London is, of course, the crown jewels. And they're kept in this building behind me known as the Wellington Barracks. And they're guarded by these guys, the Coldstream Guards. And how cool do they look? This is Tower Green, and it's here that several very high profile prisoners were executed. Only a handful, because most of the executions were actually done at a place called Tower Hill, outside the walls. And on this site, just behind me, where there's the glass coffee table, three Queens of England were executed, including Anne Boleyn, the second wife of Henry VIII, and of course his fifth wife as well. One of the cool things here at the Tower of London is that they uh, used to keep a menagerie of beasts, the royal menagerie, and some of the stuff they had in there is just crazy. I mean, aside from the obvious lions, they had snakes and uh, hyenas, ostriches, kangaroos, go us, and even a polar bear that apparently they used to tie to a really long cord and it would go fishing in the Thames. I've just been so fascinated with all the little historical stories here because it has been so important over the last thousand years. We've just heard the story of the very first prisoner ever kept here, a bishop from the county of Surrey in southern England. And they just, not knowing what to do with him, threw him in the wine cellar. And, well, he did what Frenchmen do. He drank a lot of wine, got the guards drunk as well, skipped off out of the fortress and was never seen again. This is the Bloody Tower, and it's at the centre of one of the saddest episodes of the entire fortress. Two young princes of Henry III were locked up here because their uncle thought they were illegitimate. When their father died, he crowned himself king, and the two princes were last seen here before they disappeared. 200 years later, some workmen came across a box with two child skeletons probably that of the young princes who were reburied in Westminster Abbey. Well, it's been a fascinating day here at the Tower of London. A thousand years of history, half of it as a royal palace, and then half again as a prison. Incredible to see. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the Road, and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.